right here, near you. Don't be afraid. Why is it so dark? Because the day is resting. The sun has gone to bed, like we have. Even the sun? Yes, even the sun. During the night, all living things go to sleep. They close their eyes so that they won't see the dark. Come on now, try to close your little eyes. But after, will I be able to open them again? Yes, as soon as the dawn begins to brighten the sky. Then we'll see what the new day has in store for us. What is the new day going to bring us? No one can know what is still hidden in the womb of the light. We have to wait for the birth of the new day. Not till then shall we discover all the splendors, the wonders that accompany the sunrise. There are but few who truly know, who see what is there. Can you see, Father? On occasions my eyes open, and when they do I know that God has touched me on the shoulder. Could you help me to see? You are a child, my boy, and that makes my help unnecessary. The good Lord on high reveals his glories openly to the young and innocent. The way he will have revealed it to the first man who looked upon creation with awe and infinite wonder. it was from the very beginning of time when the good Lord created the sky the Sun the stars and all the vastness of the earth but before creation there was blackness black darkness yet untouched by light and the darkness was over the deep the darkness of the void and the unknown, because as yet nothing existed, not even the awareness of the darkness and the void. But behold, the Spirit of God was already breathing over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. The Lord God saw that the light was good and divided the light from the darkness. The light God called day and the darkness night. Evening came, morning came. And that was the first of the days. Behold, the Lord said, let the firmament exist. In the firmament God separated the waters that are of the earth from the waters that are above the skies. And the Almighty saw that it was good. And evening came and morning came to complete the second day. On the third day, the Creator summoned all the waters that are under the heavens so that the dry land appeared and the earth produced vegetation and plants of every species and all kinds of fruit-bearing trees, each one with its own seed. And thus it came to be that from that day forth the earth began to produce vegetation and all kind of plants and fruit-bearing trees of every species, each producing its own seed 
to spread over the whole earth. And again, evening came and morning came the third day. On the morning of the fourth day, Almighty God said, let there be two great lights in the vault of the heavens, one for the night and one for the day, to serve as a sign for the seasons, for the days and for the years. <laughs> 